all of you amazing out of Indiana have been. Good start. Today's video is going to be a what month is it? It's May, which means last month was April. So I'm going to be doing an April favorites video, you know. I'm just basically going to be going through some things that I've really been liking lately and I haven't done a favorites video in so long because I keep pushing it off and I'll just like, oh, I'll save it for next week, I'll save it for next week and then all of a sudden it's been like a really, really long time. I don't really know if these are just April favorites or just favorites in general. I, they're just things that I like and I want to show you. So show them more and go. So my first favorite thing is, whoa, exciting stuff. It's a blow dryer. This is a blow dryer that I've had for a really long time. It's from Target. I think it's Conair. It has absolutely nothing written on it, which is great branding. Um, oh well. All I know is that it's like a pretty inexpensive hair dryer and it is a, like gets the job done. I think like my mom went out and bought it after. Rebecca has the same one. Like people live for this shit. And then this brush is a dry bar brush and you can basically use any brush that looks about this thick. I don't know what would give you however it is compared to an iPhone 6 Plus. That's how big it is. Basically why th those are my two favorite things right now is because I've been wearing my hair straight lately, which is something I never do because growing up my mom always said, Lauren, you look so bad with straight hair. Mom, shut up. So I never wore my hair straight. However, I've been going through a hair funk where I've been growing out my hair because remember I cut my hair, I ended up hating it and wearing it in a bun for like a month and a half and then all of a sudden one day I was like, whoa, it's not that bad if I put it behind my shoulders and wear it straight. So that is what I've been doing and my hair is like grown a lot. My hair looks really long when it's like going down my back, but my hair, I've always had this problem that when I flip it forward, it looks a lot shorter. So my hair has grown a lot, but ideally I'd like to, to get back down to there where it was before so I don't completely hate myself. But anyway, basically I have really, really thick, really, really a lot of hair. I have a lot of thick hair and people don't really believe me because on camera you can't tell but trust me it's a real thing and it's not a competition but I'm just saying I have very thick and very whatever hair and it's also brown so this means that basically I don't have to wash my hair that often and so I've noticed that if I just blow dry my hair and sleep on it and I wake up the next day anytime I need to touch it up all I do is add dry shampoo and just go over it with a blow dryer so I don't even use a straightener or anything and I think that's the reason why my hair is growing so fast and I'm also talking really fast and and I really like the whole like look of like just like a middle part tucked behind my ears kind of thing. Um, so yeah. So I have quite a few, quite a few things to show you here. This is the rosebud salve, and if you watch like beauty videos and stuff, you probably like know what this is. But if you don't know what this is, because I didn't know what it is, it 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 it's chapstick basically. However. I think I might have mentioned this a few vid videos back, videos, but this literally changed my life. I used to get, okay, once I start not speaking English, it just goes downhill, I'm sorry. Once I started using this, my lips, it changed the lip game for me. My lips are like never chapped. This is the only thing that's ever actually, this is the best thing I've ever used. I started with the one in the pot, but then I um, had a shoot on the beach and it melted, so I got the tube version, and I'm hoping the tube version is just as good. It should be, because it looks like it's the same exact thing. The next thing that's also single-handedly changed my life is the Beauty Blender, and uh, I never really used this before because I used to just use my fingers to put on foundation or like a brush that would get like literally disgusting because I would never wash it and then I would just throw it away and go back to using my fingers. But um, they used this on my face on the set of our movie and I was like, whoa, that's so cool. So I got it and it was kind of a struggle at first because I didn't really understand it. You kind of had to like learn how to use it because you have to like fill it up with water and you have to like clean it and everything. So I highly recommend getting the soap that goes with it because it's like the only thing that will keep your thing clean. But pro tip, the makeup artist told me that as long as when you squeeze it out, the, if the water runs clear, it's actually clean, that a lot of foundations actually just stain it. So even if yours looks dirty, it might not actually be dirty, but I would still buy a new one like every few weeks or depending how much you use makeup. But it definitely changes the freaking game when you're applying stuff to your face, let me tell you. Speaking of applying stuff to my face to make me feel better about myself, this is a thing. It's called Shade Light. It's the Kat Von D Contour Palette, which I saw one time a, a picture of it on a social media site and I was like that looks bomb and then once again on a different set someone used it on me and I was like this is bomb so I went out and bought it. So it looks like this and it has three different bronzer colors and then three different highlight colors so depending on how tan you are you can go in and do a little bit of this, a little bit of that and I got the Kat Von D brush that you're supposed to use with it and it's freaking awesome. Um, so this is also a game changer. Uh, I like that it's all matte and not sparkly because I don't really like sparkly things on my face because I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't know. So yeah, this is a great investment for if you like to do things to your face with bronzed colors. 
Then, the next thing I like to do to my face is I really like doing peely masks. Um, as you guys know, I really, I have like pretty good skin, but I do like to keep it really, really hydrated and everything. Sometimes when you're just really, really tired or you're just like out late and whatever, you don't take care of yourself, your skin gets super, super dehydrated and ugly. Ugly. We're all a little ugly. So in order to get that good for things, so I like the Dr. Jart masks the best. They're like a little pricier, um, but like even if you just get like this one every once in a while, it makes such a difference. I just put these things on my face. I haven't used these two before, but I am excited too because this one says brightening infusion and all I care about is brightening, brightening and hydrating and making my face glow. So I really like sheet masks and if you're into that kind of thing, these are really great. Not that I've used these, but I've used this one and another Dr. Dart one. I read about it in Vogue once and so there's, yeah, you should, you should try, you should try it. So I got those from Sephora too, by the way. Moving on to things that aren't from my bathroom. My next favorite thing is these sandals. Yay! Okay, so as you guys know, I really like my Birkenstocks, but I get super hated on for them. And also, they don't really go with a lot of actual outfits. They're mostly the shoes that I just wear around when I'm wearing my pajamas. But I do like slip-on shoes. I've been really big into my white Vans lately, which are literally my favorite shoes in the world right now. But I wanted to get some kind of black pair of shoes, and these are Vince, and I got them from Bloomingdale's. And Vince has the cutest sandals right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I literally was trying on like eight pairs at a time. And I got these and then another pair. They're over there. Should I grab them? I guess I'll get up. I love being lazy. These are the other ones I got. If you, they're like snake skin on the back and then just cross in the front. So these are a little more narrow and they're like nicer. So I would wear these with like nicer outfits. And then... These are super cute with more casual outfits, but they're still nice, so like you can still wear them, you know, like to important things that are more casual important things if you do those kinds of things. Things. Then my next favorite thing is water bottles because um, on Earth Day I decided to go buy reusable water bottles because I go through way too many plastic water bottles and it's just a waste of money and it just is inconvenient for me to always have to go to the store and get water bottles. So I was like, why don't I just buy some? cool one so I have a really big camelback one that's awesome that has a screw off top so it's not a straw and it has 32 ounces in it so I drink three of those a day which is awesome of me good job Lauren that's me patting myself on the back and then this one is for my at home usage and I just love it because it's a mason jar and it's literally bigger than my face and it's not actually it's kind of deceiving because there's actually a thing inside of it that has the water so it's you don't get as much water as you think. I kind of just want to buy an actual mason jar that's ginormous and put water in it for at home. But this one's cool because it has a straw and a lid. And how cool is that? Water. What else do I like? Well, honestly, bad bitches are the only thing that I like. So that might be it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my favorites recently for the month or the month before or whatever you want to call it. These are just some things that I think are really awesome that I wanted to share with you guys so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below what your favorite things were from this month, last month, or whatever. If you just want to tell me something, you should go do it down below. That's what she said. Sorry. Also, don't forget to subscribe and go follow me on Twitter and Instagram and everything like that. That will also always be in the description box below. Also, don't forget I have a movie coming out soon. We are going to start releasing some teasers and different trailers and more pictures and stuff. So all the stuff about the movie will be linked in the description box below. So start getting excited because the countdown is beginning soon. That's about all I got, guys. I love you all very, 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 very much. And I will see you next week. Bye.